Venice is one of the most iconic cities in the world. It comprises 118 islands, 150 canals, and 417 bridges, and has a unique atmosphere, architecture, and history. Venice is also the site of many firsts. In the middle 16th century, the first modern book, which formed the basis of today's book format, was published in Venice. The world's first public casino opened in Venice in 1638. Elena Cornero, the first woman in the world to graduate from university, graduated in Venice on June 25, 1678, and she was born in Venice. Venice is a completely man-made city. The New York Times described Venice as the most beautiful city built by people. So, why Venice was built? In 402 AD, the Byzantine emperor, who had made an agreement with the Goths, turned his attention from Constantinople, now known as Istanbul, to the Italian territories. He set his sights on the Veneto region in northeastern Italy, which included cities such as Venice, Padua, Verona, and Vicenza. The Byzantine Emperor reached an agreement with the Celtic Goths for expeditions to this region, promising to share the spoils from the looted cities. The Goths, famous for their horse-riding raiders and the most important military power of the period, burned, destroyed, and looted the cities in Veneto, causing the people to flee to Venice. Before these attacks, Venice was a place with marshes. The people of Veneto earned significant income by selling the salt they obtained here in the summer. People who spent the summer here needed plains, warehouses, houses, and vegetable gardens. They brought millions of black pine and oak logs cut from Slovenia and Croatia by floating them from the sea before these attacks. They deepened the channels between the mud islands and strengthened the ground with the mud that emerged. Later, they turned the incoming logs into piles and pounded them into the mud until they hit solid ground. Thus, they laid the first foundation of Venice. The first island to be made ready for human use was the island of Torcello. So how have these wooden foundations not rotted until now? For wood to rot, both air and water need to penetrate it at the same time. Since there is no oxygen underwater and the rich mineral and clay soil of the lagoon water gathers around the wooden piles, the wooden piles used in Venice have transformed into a rock-solid material as strong and hard as stone. Over time, the piles were filled with stone so that they would not resurface, and the exteriors of the buildings were covered with marble since it is impermeable to water. Thanks to this method, the foundations of wall construction were first laid in Venice, and the magnificent and romantic Venice we see today was thus revealed. As I mentioned before, the first island to be built using this method was Torcello. I also mentioned that the Goths, with whom the Byzantines collaborated, had mounted horsemen. When the cities of Veneto became uninhabitable, the people turned the marshes and mudflats near the Torcello Island into livable areas using the same method, and by building dams to change the direction of the rivers, they allowed the city to be surrounded by water. By putting water between the mainland and their living areas, they were able to protect themselves from mounted attacks. Thus, Venice gradually expanded and turned into a new city. The mastery of the water that saved their lives made the Venetians a significant trading power in the Mediterranean, which was the most important trade route of that time. However, with the discovery of new trade routes, such as Christopher Columbus' discovery of America in 1492 and Vasco da Gama's discovery of the East Indies in 1498, the Venetians lost their dominance in world trade to their main rivals, the Genoese. To maintain their dominance in the north and southeastern Mediterranean, the Venetians allowed Jews to come to their cities and establish their own banking systems, as usury was forbidden in Christianity. Today, Venice sinks into the water by one or two millimeters every year. Artesian wells opened in the early 1900s caused the groundwater to recede and posed a significant danger to the city at that time. In the 1960s, drilling wells in Venice was banned. Researchers say that due to climate change, there is a risk of Venice being underwater until the year 2100. Some projects are being developed to protect Venice from this danger, but there is still no project that everyone agrees on.